Hey guys, Scott with the Bass Tank here. We're gonna do a little quick product review of the 1222 from Garmin. Um, this is one of our most popular units. I just wanna go over a couple features real quick. So this is a 12 inch screen. It is non-touch. We've got a multi-function knob right here, which means I can adjust uh, my menu selections. And then the select is just pushing the button. Very quick to operate this, this unit with that. Then we've got our arrow pads right here. This again in the, inside the menu allows us to select. And then we've actually got a select button right here as well. And then we've got our normal features. We've got power, home, um, you know, we can mark waypoints with this unit. It is a GPS unit. That means there is an internal GPS uh, sensor in here, so you can mark waypoints with it. Um, then we've got our favorites down here. There's four buttons, they're hotkeys. Um, and then we've got our SD cards right here. So this unit is a non-mapping unit. That means it doesn't have any contours or anything like that preloaded. However, with these SD card slots, we can add a map card later if we find out we want those, um, those contours and everything else. This unit is perfect for live scope. So I will uh, flip it around and I will show you some of the connections on the back. A lot of questions we'll get there. All right, now let's flip this unit around and take a look at some of the connections on the rear. So this unit right here, we've got red. That is our power cable that's included in the, in the uh, box. We've got a coax cable. For our principles or our, our uh, um, applications, that's not really needed. Now we've got NEMA. Um, NEMA has been replaced by, by our ethernet ports for the most part. NEMA is to share data between, between units, but really if we're gonna share waypoints and, and video, we wanna use our ethernet anyway. One big question we always get is, which port do I plug this into? Electrically, these are the same. So if I've got my live scope or I've got a network uh, cable that I'm connecting to another unit, it does not matter which one I, I go. If I have to unplug it to take it off my boat and uh, I come back and I can't remember which one's which, it doesn't matter, just plug them in. The, the unit knows that that's just a connection. So that is the connections on the back. One thing you'll notice is missing is there's no orange um, sonar port. This unit is a non-sonar unit. So what that means is this unit will not process any of our, our clear view, side view, 2D sonar. If we're gonna do that, we've gotta have a network sonar box. Prime example is LiveScope is actually a network sonar box. The black box is doing the processing of the data. It's passing the information via our ethernet, via our network to the unit. The unit then translates that into video. So that is another big question we get quite a bit. So that is the 1222 external connections and, and buttons. Um, now let's talk about the, the internal features of why this unit is a great live scope unit. All right guys, we've gone over some of the external features of this unit, you know, connections and, and operational buttons. Let's talk about some pointers inside the actual software, what we're getting with this unit. This is in the GPS map family. So any GPS map will actually network and share data, waypoints, video with this unit. So if you wanna run touches uh, for the, your other mapping and, and uh, site imaging and things like that, you can do that. Drop this up here for live scope. This is a very economical way to, to run a 12 inch live scope. That's why it's so popular. The other thing is this has what we call helm feature inside Active Captain. This allows you to actually share, mirror the image with an iPad, your phone, or something like that, a tablet, where you can actually record that, but you actually, actually can share it in real time as well. So uh, if you've got kids or something like that and you wanna hand them an iPad and let them um, see what you're seeing without having them over your shoulder or anything like that, this is a, a great unit for that as well. Um, again, non-mapping, we can add the card in there. Um, Non-sonar, so it's gonna be network sonar. That's the highlight of the 1222. It's a great unit for live scope, um, a great addition to any system.